What up, meatbags? Deanbot the Machine Bot here. Welcome back to Let's Play Darksiders. So we just got the deafening horn here, and we called to the gate, and he's off stim stomping somewhere out there in the distance. Speaking of freedom, so I mean, I'm glad I could help. So now, let's see what's behind the gate. Still gonna smash up the furniture in here. It's worth the money. Break it and get paid. I'll go ahead and leave that chest right there. Come back for health when I need it. Ah. Hey there, big guy. Now. Now again. He's gonna grow. There we go. Hiya! Smash open some currency here. Yeah. Get me paid. Oh, there is a guy down here. Sure, I'll smash you in the face hole. Oh, dirty trick, sir. Now this water was deep. Let's see. Doesn't look like I have to worry overly much about holding my breath, so we'll explore a little. Well, you look different. Hi ya! Lifestone Shard. For those of you who play Zelda, you know exactly how the Lifestone Shards work. Collect four of them, your health gets bigger. And we like bigger health bars in this game. Nobody likes fighting a boss with hardly any hit points. Alright. What's still groaning up here? Oh, the Chaos Eater leveled up. The Chaos Eater courses with energy and its destructive power increases. We like that. That's kind of a waste to use that Wrath ability on just one enemy, but eh, I was, I was feeling it. Yeah, why not? We'll open this one. Ha! Ah. One second here. I see another life shard up there. Ah, uh, it's unreachable yet. I have to get the grappling hook so I can get over there to get it. I'll remember you're there. Hiya! Hiya again! The Scalding Gallo. So Volgan told me to seek out Semiel.
A demon who had a falling out, huh? I mean, I work side by side with Volgan, so I guess that's not too absurd. Oh, so nasty. <clears throat> Let's head up here real quick. Some currency! Woohoo! Booyah! Right, I can't get to that yet. Whatever that chest is, I can't get to it yet. I need to be able to destroy that bomb right there. Ooh, God! Where'd you come from? I was explaining certain things to individuals, you sneaky bastard. <clears throat> hmm. I can't help but be curious now, wondering like if I find something to throw at that bomb, whether or not that could work, like that card right there. Sliced you! Yeah, at this point, I'm just kind of toying with them. Come here, buddy. Ah, nope, won't let me target it yet. That's okay, though. Yeah, I'm not clearing that gap. Oh, look at this guy. Do you know what's imprisoned here? There Not really. Even you should fear horsemen. Once you were strong, but now you are weak and you are alone. The destroyer knows of your coming. Even now, he moves his legions against you. Then I'll make this quick. <laughs> an awful lot on your minions for someone who's going to be killing me. I hope you're paying attention as I slaughter your boys, buddy. Woo, that's a double attack. Gotta remember that. That's it for you, bud. <laughs> so yeah, as long as you follow a simple slash slash back off routine, eventually he gets overrun. The enemies get overrun. It's all about that patience, man. Oh, yeah. Indeed. Hideous blood puking gargoyles. <laughs> the plumbing must be stuck. 
one hell of a key to a prison, isn't it? Well, it sounds like he woke up. Well then, let's push this last one and unlock the door. demanding isn't it? Very well then. Shadow Flight. These supernatural wings enable War to temporarily glide after a double jump. Hold X to activate Shadow Flight and glide. Glide inside shadow currents to soar high into the air. Those must be what he's talking about. One second, before I head over that way, uh, the Shadow Flight. Activate Ward Shadow Flight and a Shadow Current to perform huge leaps. Leaps and bounds! Oh, take a look at that. There must be something down there. Whoa! Sneaking up on me. Take a lava bath. Well, keep them in the air for too long and they just straight up die now. I'm looking around. There must be something down there. There. Not good! Shadow Flight didn't activate. It didn't activate even a little bit. Wonder how long do you stay active? Not very! Okay, lesson learned. Maybe it's a timing thing. <laughs> Ha! Oh! Smash it! Right! The Abyssal Armor! Okay, a piece of Blood Forge Abyssal Armor. There are ten of these chests hidden throughout this game, and I do not remember where all of them are. Holy crap. But, if you manage to complete all ten of the pieces, it unlocks a special armor set for war that'll reduce your damage by half. It's actually a pretty awesome thing. 
Completely forgot about that. Ugh, I'm a horrible fanboy. <laughs> I have to try to remember where all ten, oh, where the other nine are now. Now, the main reason I came over here is because Volgrim's got a spot over here. You can always identify him by his lovely little wind charms. So I'm going to gather a few souls here. We'll be down that way later. There he is. He'll be right there. Smash! Ah. Gimme. Wrath Shard. Increase the Wrath Shard and then you get bigger and more magic. Fulgrim location has been added to the Chronicle. Lovely. I suppose that's a good thing. On your journey, you may come into possession of certain items that are of particular interest to me. So I've seen. Artifacts of the Fallen Legion. If you discover any Legion artifacts, bring them to me. I will make it worth your while. I don't see why I wouldn't. There you go, buddy. Slotted bonus. Boost the damage inflicted by a weapon's attack. That sounds awesome. Oh, generates wrath naturally over time. That's pretty cool. You can also buy wraith co wrath cores, wrath shards. Empty vessel. That would be handy, wouldn't it? What else do we have? Ooh, we can learn some new moves. Getting all these moves learned again would be very handy indeed. And you can even buy a scythe! The scythe's massive curved blade performs large sweeping attacks that devastate multiple enemies. The scythe is a pretty nice weapon. Then you have the harvester. This legendary scythe devastates multiple enemies with large sweeping attacks. The harvester also reaps more souls from fallen enemies. It's good stuff. Then you got new magic abilities too. We got stone skin, emulation, and affliction. Eventually I'll have to get these too. They can come in handy. For now though, I'm gonna go with this. Make my attacks a little bit more powerful. And get me a couple of new abilities here. There we go. Go to my inventory. Right here. There we go. Give me a little bit more attack power in my weapon. <clears throat> I like attack power. That's pretty much explaining exactly what I just did going in there and equipping the rune. Now my sword looks like it's breathing. It's pretty fucking awesome, actually. <laughs> It'll do until later on when I can get a better relic, because if I remember correctly, like every single weapon you acquire in this game can have a particular relic that can go with it that will make things just awesome for you. And they're hidden pretty well too, so hopefully I can remember where the hell those are. Wee -hee -hee -hee. Let's party. You double swinging fat fuck. Boom. Smash my way through here. Literally. There we go. Wee! And into this tunnel. You just swing at me, zombie. Eat it. Wow. 
What a precarious little cave here. Ooh, stuff. I just jump in the lava pit. Stuff! <laughs> I do is the Chinese command. Whoa, whoa. Eat it. Yes. Doesn't seem to be anything down that way. So let's go ahead and move on. I know later on you get a. Ooh. Huh. I don't think I can get over there yet. There must be a secret to it. I know you get an item later on in the game that will actually help you find your way around to getting all of this stuff. Like, it's... I think it just reveals treasure chests or something like that. But it at least points them out for you so you're, you know, when you're returning through areas of the game you've played, you can be like, oh right, there's something right there, huh? Get out of my face. Alright. Booyah. Woohoo! Thinking you can sneak up on me? That's what you get for trying to be sneaky. So I'm wondering, like, I think that's a portal opening, and I think there's another one next to that chest back over yonder there that pops up or that can pop up. So, yeah, that's something that'll definitely come in handy later. Alright. Hee <laughs> hee. Having wings is pretty nice, actually. Yeah, I know! It only helps when you actually jump! Oh, I keep trying to barbecue war. Sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, me. There we go. See, I knew I could make it. <laughs> well, that's a big bat. They die a lot easier than I thought they would. I know, destroying gravestones seems really uncool, but, dude, currency. Zombie! Oh, skeleton. Oh, well, it's kind of like a zombie. Bam! Smoke that fool. Boom! Finished with some maximum effort. Yeah, that's a big one. still caught on the edge of that, wasn't I? I'm gonna have to be careful. I'm starting to get lazy and it's affecting my well-being and my health.
That's great. I just use them as blood banks. Every little health helps. Alright, could just be me, but it seems like the big cross ones with a mass platform don't seem to give any resources, and that makes me sad. There you go. Feel proud of yourself, zombie. You went one-on-one -on -one with war. Oh, okay. So yeah, bats obviously don't stand a chance against you. Gotcha! Thanks, buddy. Extra squishy between my fingers. That's a way to do it, too. I see you over there, big flamey. That time was actually pretty awesome. I handled that guy pretty well. Better be careful. I'm starting to get used to you bad guys. Good job, zombie. Look at that. Right. All right, I will admit, I, fa I found that secret again completely by accident. So, I'm, if I remember correctly, it seems like those big giant statues with the crosses on them, if you destroyed all of them, you would get that chest to pop up. Secrets, secrets. Get this location discovered. So that's another location. Give me my shard. Yeah. Two down, two to go to bigger, healthier lifestyles. Secret tunnel. Nice. Uh, so you all want a piece of me, literally. There you go. Hey, come here. Thanks for the hit points. Woo! Another artifact. 
This Legion artifact is still soldier, and that's just dandy. Anything that gives extra hit points is more than welcome. Well, extra currency points, not really hit points. You know what I'm saying. Alright. With that, I think we've thoroughly cleared the park here. Huh. Thanks for joining the party. What is that? Something yellow and glowy up there that I can't get to yet. I don't think I can get to it anyway. Let's go see. You dare stand in my way? Come on. There you go. <laughs> hmm. No climbing points. Let's keep taking a look around here. Yeah, indeed. It does not look like there's a way up there. Perhaps it's something that has to wait. I'm trying to remember what that is. I don't fully remember. Yeah, you hit me and now you got card. Those cards didn't even give me anything. Sad. Oh, hey, check this out. There's a cave. Well, hot damn. <laughs> There we go. Uh -huh. There is a way up. Well, first I'm gonna grab some currency here. Oh yeah, give me some souls. Gladly take them. And then up, meow. Woohoohoo! Ah, a bomb is there? Oh no! That kind of sucked. Yeah, there's a bomb up there. And I do not have the means to destroy it yet. So yeah, whatever that yellow glowy thing is up there, I have to wait until a little later to get my hands on it. But that's alright. I'll be back. Oh good, you're alive! <laughs> There we are. Toot that horn. I have come for the destroyer. My brother spoke of your coming. But a powerful curse holds me now. I cannot help you. Any curse can be broken. Yes, perhaps. These servants of the Destroyer walk unseen within the realm of shadow. By their blood we are bound. By their blood shall we be free. 
I can no longer move within the Shadow Realm. Much of my power has left me. Hmm. You need not enter it. I will grant you the power to see into the accursed realm for a time. But to what end? What hope have we now against the destroyer's foul sorcery? Hope will not bring you freedom. <laughs> Man, he just breathed on me and my eyes turned red. That's that's called having bad breath that gives you bloodshot eyes. Well, you wouldn't think, right? Hmm. Okay, yeah, that stands out pretty blatantly. So I guess we'll go here. <laughs> Okay, kind of like transported me to an arena. There's a lot of zombies in here. You must be one of the lurkers. So what's the dealio? Defeat 40 enemies within the time limits, huh? All right then, bring him on. Well, it gets harder as they're running away from me. Yeah! Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah, your fancy little gaze down. Oh, now you're panicking, huh? That was entertaining. That's one down. Get my magic and my health back. Let's head to the next one. One shadow looker purged. Let's do it. Hiya.
Aerial Brawl. Defeat five enemies using aerial combos within the time limit. That sounds fun. Yeah, it's one. Too easy. Not laughing anymore, are you? On to the next one. Kill five enemies in aerial combat. I'm launching enemies all over the place. Been doing it since I started. Come on in. Hiya. What you got next for me? The gory end. Kill 30 enemies using only war's instant kill attacks. So is that the circle? Oh. All right, let's do it. That was awesome. Come from. Yeah. Smoke you big time, big guy. Eat it. Ten to go. Yeah. Going 
seven. Damn it. Twenty eight. Woof. Twenty-nine. I want you to be the final one, big guy. Thirty, baby. Eat it. Grand finish. Boom. Oh yeah, the gates come tumbling down. You're dead now, fool. One to go. Gonna talk for a second about how I was killing all those enemies, all those flyers. My feet didn't touch the ground for like a solid 30 seconds. <laughs> One more shadow lurker. Let's see what trial you got for me. <laughs> laugh all you want. I'll still get the last laugh. Oh crap. Kill 50 enemies before I die. This, uh, this could be troubling. Constant health drain while enemies are walking on me. Halfway there now. Shit. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Woo! Try to cut that one close, didn't I? There 
There we go. Whew. You almost killed me, big man. That one was, that one was close. That, <laughs> that puckered up my butthole a little bit. Ah, block counter. War's reflexive instincts have been awoken, allowing him to counter attack physical and projectile threats. You press R1 just before the moment of impact. That'll take some time to master if I bother to master it. All right, let's go tell the big guy the good news. And honestly, this vision just makes things look more spooky. Hey, big guy, wake up. I killed all the bad guys for you. Well, good luck on wherever the hell it is you're going. And I suppose we'll keep going this way. Ravager. This enhancement increases war's damage with environmental weapon attacks. Not bad, but I use my sword more than anything else. Lovely. Hiya. All right, let's do this. Got you, bat. <laughs> Lovely. Smash you on open. More of those ice blocks there. Still can't do anything with those. Well, that, that looked weird, but I mean, it was efficient, so. Hiya! Oh, and unfortunately, we seem to be out of time for this episode, which, uh, sad, I'm having fun. Try to clear out this room real quick.
Yeah! Like a boss! Alright, that should be all I can do at this point in time. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing so far. And if you do, feel free to leave that like and subscribe to the channel. And the next episode, we'll see what we can do about getting to Tiamat. Until then, I will catch you later, meatbags.